All right, so this is a question that many may find tricky or challenging uh, on the SAT. So yeah, let's get to solving it. So it says, if 3x minus y is equal to 12, what is the value of a to the power of x over 2y? So it may seem tricky to solve, but it's, I guess it's pretty straightforward, right? So what you gotta kind of have to do is that you have to understand that 3x minus y, let's consider it as a statement, right? If, right, if this is true, right? What is the value of this, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna simplify this right here. I wanna simplify that. It looks a little too complicated for me, so I wanna simplify it. But how do I simplify it? There's two variables. It's, it looks almost impossible, right? But no, it's not. It's fairly easy. We have to understand this important exponent rule over here. If I have x to the power of a over x to the power of b, right? It's equal to x to the power of a minus b, like so, right? But what's important here is that they have the same base. They have the same base, right? But these don't have the same base. It's a to the power of x over two to the power of y. Now that's not good. Our first step in this case, simplifying this, would be to get them to the same base. So eight to the power of x. Okay, so let's say, let's just look at this. So how can I write eight in terms of two? Now, if you know your powers, right, you know that eight should be equal to two to the power of three, right? Because two times two times two is eight, all right? So, instead of writing 8 to the power of x, we can write 2 to the power of 3x, right, over 2 to the power of y. Now, moving on from here, it should practically be really simple to solve, right? If I have 2 to the power of 3x over 2 to the power of y, let's just look at this exponent rule over here. x to the power of a minus b, right? So, this would be equal to 2 to the power of 3x minus y. Now something really, really cool happens here. It's, a, it's two to the power of three x minus y at the top over here, right? Now what, it gives us a statement over here. Three x minus y is equal to 12. So what would it be? It would be equal to two is equal to two to the power of 12. Because in our statement over here, it says that it's equal to 12. So it's exact statement, right? If we plug this 12 right back in and we get our answer of two to the power of 12. If we look here, our answer is right here. So a value. And that's it. That's all the solving this problem. Hope it helped and have a good day.